वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन हियर क्वेश्चन इज प्रूव द फॉलोइंग बाय द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंडक्शन फॉर ऑल एन बिलोंगिंग टू सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर कैपिटल एन हियर स्टेटमेंट इज वन प्लस थ्री बाय वन इंटू वन प्लस फाइव बाय फोर इंटू वन प्लस सेवन बाय नाइन इंटू अप टू वन प्लस टू एन प्लस वन बाय एन स्क्वायर दिस इज एन एथ टर्म which is equal to n square sorry n plus 1 whole square so this mathematical statement is given we have to establish it we have to prove it okay so let us see the solution here this mathematical statement is here pn is denoted pn denotes mathematical induction here so pn is here 1 plus 3 by 1, 1 plus 3 by 1 into 1 plus 5 by 4 into 1 plus 7 by 9, and last nth term is 1 plus 2 n plus 1 by n square. This is equal to n plus 1 whole square. Let us call it relation number one. Okay. So you know. we will prove it by the principle of mathematical induction and uh, we have to get you have to find the solution we have to solve it by using three steps only uh in the previous videos also we have done so many questions of the same topic so you might be aware might be knowing that only three steps are required here first step we have to show that p1 is true means when we will put n is equal to 1 that will be p1 so we have to establish p1 is true second step you will assume that pr is true means when we will put n is equal to r in this given statement that will be pr so we have to assume in second step that pr is true and the third and last step final step is to show that pr plus 1 is true means whenever we will put n is equal to r plus 1 in this given statement you have to show that p r plus 1 is true okay so first step you have to show here p 1 is true so to show that p 1 is true so putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 that will be p 1 so therefore here p1 is here n is equal to 1 so we are taking only one term so that will be 1 plus 3 by 1 this is left hand side and right hand side is n is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 whole square let us simplify it this is 1 plus 3 that is 4 and this is 1 plus 1 2 square is 4 so here we are getting LHS is equal to RHS, so therefore P1 is true. First step is over. We have established that P1 is true, and the next step we have to assume that PR is true. So let us assume that PR is true. means we have to put n is equal to r that is here pr is n is equal to r so in place of n we will put r here so pr is 1 plus 3 by 1 into 1 plus 5 by 4 into 1 plus 7 by 9 and uh, 1 plus 2r plus 1 by r square this is equal to r plus 1 whole square this is calling us relation number 2 so we are assuming that this is true okay now third and last step we have to show that pr plus 1 is true and after showing that pr plus 1 is true just we have to state there give a statement that by the principle of mathematical induction this statement is true for all n okay so now we have to prove pr plus 
now to show that p r plus 1 is true that is putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. So, we are getting here p r plus 1 like this 1 plus 3 by 1 into 1 plus 5 by 4 into 1 plus 7 by 9. We will put n is equal to r plus 1 and the, the term previous to uh, last term will get by putting n is equal to r that will be here 1 plus 2 r plus 1 divided by r square and finally, we have to put n is equal to r plus 1. So, 1 plus 2 into r plus 1 plus 1 divided by sorry r plus 1 whole square. Okay? Putting here n is equal to r plus 1 correct and right hand side will be r plus 1 whole square. So, we have to establish this relation here. I mean I have to prove that p r plus 1 is true. Okay? And uh, up to this much part, up to this much part, you can write r plus 1 whole square by relation number 1. So, you see relation number sorry by relation number 2. So, you see relation number 2 this much is equal to r plus 1 whole square. So, in place of this much we can write r plus 1 whole square. So, r plus 1 whole square and uh, next factor is 1 plus 2 into r plus 1 plus 1 divided by r plus 1 whole square. So, we are uh, taking here left hand side and we will come to right hand side. So, that you could prove that LHS is equal to RHS. So, now this is LHS. Okay? So, in place of this much part, we are taking this value r plus 1 whole square and next factor is this much. We will simplify it and we will show that this much is equal to r plus 1 whole square. Then it will be established that p r plus 1 is true. And this is equal to uh, multiplying both the terms by r plus 1 whole square or you can take LCM here no problem. So, you will take LCM. So, LCM will be r plus 1 whole square here r plus 1 whole square. So, multiply with 1 LCM is r plus 1 whole square. So, here r plus 1 whole square plus this term is here by multiplying to 2r plus 2 and plus 1. So, 2r plus 3. So, this is 2r plus 3. Okay? This r plus 1 whole square will be cancel out here. So, this is equal to r plus 1 whole square means r square plus 2r plus 1 and this is 2r plus 3. So, r square plus 4r plus 4. So, r square plus 4r plus 4 and this is equal to r plus 2 whole square. We have mistaken here. In place of n we have to put r plus 1. So, this will be r plus 1 plus 1 means r plus 2 whole square. Please make a correction r plus 2 whole square here. Okay? So, that much we are getting here. So, this we have started with left hand side and we are coming to this right hand side this right hand side. So, r plus 2 whole square this is right hand side. So, we are getting here LHS is equal to RHS. So, now we will conclude that this given statement is true for all n. So, we have to write one line statement here therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction by the principle of mathematical induction here this given statement means p n is true for all n proved. So, this is the process 
to solve this type of problem. Only three steps we have to take. First step, you have to show that P1 is true. Second step, we assume that PR is true. And third, we have to prove that PR plus 1 is true that we are showing here. So that's all about the solution of this question. I hope you have understood it very well. This is a very interesting and important question. And we'll do some more problems uh, from the same topic in other videos to come. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.